Okay, this is Vela Reality, a uh, cool little piece of software for turbo training. Uh, front page, I'll just go through things quickly. This is a world map with all the different riders on. Um, all these little squares are different routes you can do. You can download, do the videos. As you can see, I think there's only one person in the world playing at the moment. And he is down in France. Right over here, you've got all your details, fill all them in. Uh, I'll just like to use that simply enough. Bike settings, not much to change there. Grade reduction doesn't really count for me. Amp devices shows uh, I'm using a speed cadence sensor from Garmin, an old one. That'll come up there. The cadence isn't set up yet, so that'll stay at zero. And that's the USB stick. You just uh, hit search and it all pairs up by itself. The trainers uh, included on here and the power ratings that they've got. You just click on here, there's a huge list of all different ones there. You can see it goes down. And uh, that graph will show you what kind of voltages you can get. There's the one for mine. Only up to 860 watts, although I don't think I'll ever going to hit that. You know, video is a cool feature, which is where they make the money. This is freeware, but you have to download videos um, if you want to ride along. So have a quick look at this one. This is a sample one. These are demo videos. I think they're about £7 to get them. Um, you link it all up to your bike and your turbo. And the faster you ride, the faster the video will play, and vice versa. I've got this one for uh, power based training. So I've got my uh, speed sensor all hooked up. You get your current, average, and max of all those there. You see, you can link your heart rate up to it as well. Um, just while I think on, if you look down here, this will show you. Uh, that means it's connected to the internet. Your yeah, AMP Plus uh, dongle is found. I haven't got a power meter. And a speed cadence and then your heart rate there. If it's green, you've got them, but you haven't. A few training sessions that I made up myself. Um, one flaw I found in this is that you can't import uh, ready made rides, but uh, maybe that'll be something that'll change in the future. Um, it's only a fairly new bit of software, I think. Anyway, what you do is you choose one of these, um, and today I think we'll choose the over and under. So there it is, all there, and that's the time across the bottom. And then you just go to press ride down here and then it goes full screen and it should pick up as soon as you start riding as you can see I've just done some turbo interval sprints you see the green line there is drawing the effort but the power up a bit you see it there when it drops back down you have to stop Okay, now I've stopped, you can see the graph. Obviously, if I add a uh, cadence and a heart rate monitor, you'll be able to see the yellow and orange uh, lines as well. The blue box at the background is the effort level you need to do. There you go, current zero because I'm not on it. Average 189, max 808. Yeah, go up a little box like this. You can see all the rides you've done. Choose the latest one, you can upload that straight to the uh, Strava and uh, it'll have everything on there apart from the GPS. As you can see, there's the turbo I was using and the Garmin sensor at the bottom. And there's a magnet on there somewhere. There you go. So every time that passes the arm, uh, the computer works out what kind of speed you're doing and how much power you're putting through the predetermined graph, which I showed you before. So it's pretty spot on. So a free program, you can't beat it really. And there are others such as Trainer Road or whatever. Uh, obviously you've got to pay for them. I mean you can pay for this if you want to pay for the videos as well but for uh, power based training software that's my recommendation.